Hello students, uh, I will uh, show you how to solve the problem that was asked in your test. The same problem I had already sent you in the video form. Only thing, the changes what I had done was a slight changes in the burst time. So I have seen, I have corrected almost 13 papers and all the 13 papers, it is the same mistake. I don't know whether you have all have copied or what, I don't know what is a... Uh, reason so I'll just solve this please see this properly don't do this mistake in your external exam okay so first thing is preemptive preemptive means you can stop in between and when you say SJF it is you have to check the burst time whichever is having the smallest burst time that particular process should be executed first okay so first thing you must know the meaning of these two so we'll begin uh, start from the arrival time zero at arrival time zero how many process you have you have only one process that is p naught okay you have only one process no other process has yet come into the system so we will give the control of cpu to process p naught so since this is preemptive what you have to do every next arrival point time you have to check you have to check at p1 next arrival point is p1 at p at time next arrival time is 1 at time 1 millisecond you have process p1 coming so what you have to do here you should only check but what you all have done all the papers whichever i have checked they have closed this if you are closing this what is the meaning of this p naught is stopped and you have taken the control away from p naught it is not happening you have to check you have to check only in case you have some other process which is having smallest burst and then p naught then only you have to close this otherwise you cannot close it okay so now p naught it takes 10 millisecond but out of that 1 millisecond is executed so how much will be remaining that is 9 millisecond so you have only two pro process out of this smallest is p naught so what you are doing you are allowing p naught to continue okay you are allowing p naught to continue so what you all have done those 13 people papers who have collected have corrected all of you have closed this and again you have written p naught that is wrong now i've given the marks but in excel exam they'll put a big zero it cannot happen like that you cannot close this you should allow this to continue okay i hope you have understood understood this so now p naught will be continuing and again next you have to check at the next arrival point at next arrival point you have another process p2 so again you have to check at time p2 how many process have come in you have three process that has come in that is p0 p1 and p2 so p0 out uh, till here it was 9 again 1 it has executed so 8 is remaining p1 is 29 pending p2 is 3 pending so now you have to check you have p0 p1 and p2 out of this which is having the smallest burst time that is p2 so now what you're doing you are closing this cell that means cpu is taken away from p0 and which is the smallest burst time here p2 so you're giving it to p2 so p2 takes how much three milliseconds to complete okay so three milliseconds to complete so three means it will go till five but you have another process at third millisecond so at third millisecond again you have to check you have p naught 8 p1 29 p2 actually it was 3 but 1 is executed so 2 and you have p3 which is taking 7 so which is smallest one p2 so you are only checking here you are not going to close here please listen carefully okay so allowing p2 to continue so till where it will go plus how much is remaining 2 so plus 2 means it will go till 5 okay so now um, p naught is completed so you are at arrival time 5 at arrival time 5 what happened all the process has come in okay so now you are just checking whichever is having the smallest burst time give the cpu to that particular process now p naught is completed it has completely executed you have only p1 p naught p1 and p3 out of the smallest is p3 so you are giving to p3 it takes 7 milliseconds to complete so 5 plus 7 it goes up to 12 and next year uh, you have only p2 
P naught 8 and P1 29. Out of the smallest is P naught. So you are giving to P naught. It will go up to how much? 8 means it will go up to 20. And last remaining is P1 which will go up to. So 20 plus 29 means it will go up to 49. So one way of verification is. So here last you got 49. When you add this also you will get 49. That is a way of verification to check whether your GAN chart is proper. Okay. So now you have to calculate the waiting time. How we are going to calculate the waiting time? So for P0. P0 came in at 0. Got at 0. So 0 minus 0 will be 0 only. Plus you can see P0 is there once again. So how we are going to calculate? So start. it started here and it stopped. Because this was stopped here and control was given to P2. And again when it got control at 12. So 12 minus 2. Again you don't have P0 anywhere. So total waiting time is 10 milliseconds. And P1 came in at 1 and it got at 20. So 20 minus 1 that is 19 milliseconds. Then P2 you have came in at 2 got at 2. So how much? 2 minus 2 that is 0 millisecond. Then you have P3 came in at 3 got at 5. So 5 minus 3 that is 2 millisecond. So average waiting time is 10 plus 19 plus 0 plus 2 divided by 4. How much you get? 31 by for so many milliseconds so please see the video properly don't do all these mistakes you are only checking you are not preempting and giving to another process if you are closing here means it is stopped control is taken away from this process and given to other process i hope you have understood thank you